Hey, it's Joe Glines, and in this video, I just want to demonstrate how easy it is to loop over cells in Excel without a hotkey. So, um, check out my previous videos about connecting to Excel with auto hotkey. This is my handle. It's in my function library. And, um, so basically I can use a for loop. So I'm just going to say for cell. This could be, of course, whatever you want, but notice cell here, cell here, whatever it is, it's got to be the same when you reference it later. Cause you're, you're basically creating an object and then you're going to, um, reference it later. And so for every cell in this Excel, so Excel is my pointer range and I give it a range. So in this example, I'm doing a one to F one. So it's going to be, you know, up in here. Um, it's going to just, it's going to jump over each cell. Um, and here I actually reference it as cell. And because it's an object, I have to say, do I want the text? Do I want the value? Do I want, there's other things you can get, right? So let me save this, reload it and run it. And you'll notice it goes, my name is Joe. Amazing. Huh? Right. So it just iterated each one of those. Like right? how easy is that? So if you wanted to get each one and store it in a variable or store it into an object um, or set them, right, you could go through and set each value. If you had a way to parse, you know, different lines and, and parse what you wanted to drop in there. It's super easy. Um, just a, a, a little tip that um, actually Jackie Stuck taught me during the webinar on Excel, which we have, I would suggest you check that out is um, value. When you're pulling numbers, oh, actually, won't matter on that one. Let me change this to two and F two. So let me first change this back to text to show you why I was using text. So that's going to do a one, two, three, four, five, six, right? Which is great. But if for some reason you wanted all the decimal points and everything, um, you change this to value and then it gives you, you know, the full nitty gritty of an integer value with the decimals. And typically I, I don't, well, sometimes I do, but mostly times I don't want that. Uh, another cool thing you can do is, um, let's say you were trying to get, um, find out where you were, right? So if, uh, if these, so let's just, I don't need this here. I was storing it for some reason. Um, let me revert these back to zeros. So as we iterate over them, it says I'm on A2, A, um, B2, C2, D2. I should have done R2 and D2, I guess. Um, but if I wanted them to be, if I wanted one of them to be relative um, and not the other, I can change it to one and notice it throws in the dollar sign after the A, right? That would anchor it. So this is a way to get that. And we could just change them both to, to ones and get um, the dollar signs around both. So if you want a relative reference, um, if you're trying to see where, where it is, you know, that you can pull that address back. Um, another cool thing, which I just wanted, oops, wanted to show you was, um, let's say, cause this one has nothing to do with the looping, but it's a really great way is just, Hey, if you want to, um, collect, uh, this is what I love about using auto hockey with it. And yes, you can do this in Excel as well with VBA, but let's say I wanted to highlight a range and you know, yeah, this is actually a good one here. So let I had some highlighted stuff. Well, because I have a pointer here and it's saying, Hey, where the selection is, get the address. And I put that in where the range is, it's going to use that range. Um, and so when I save this and rerun it, Oh, I'm sorry. I'm in Excel. Let's try this again. Oh, it didn't run. So, you know what? I, I don't like these things. Save, reload, run. So I'm at A4, B4, C4, right? So it's an easy way to, um, you know, I can, I can come in here and say, oh, I want these. And then it will go over those, right? And shows me where I am. But what's nice is that if you literally are doing something in Excel and you want to quickly highlight it and then hit a hotkey. It's a great way to just be able to grab what cells are, are highlighted. And then of course do something with them or copy them or whatever you want. Right. But it's a super easy way to do that. So I hope that helps. Thanks.